Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to teach you how to draw and interpret a Pareto chart. So, of course, there is the PDF file on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. What is a Pareto chart? Now, a Pareto chart is a combination of frequency histogram and cumulative line graph. Here is an example of Pareto chart. Now, on the left hand side, we have frequency. And on the right hand side, we have cumulative frequency. But then it's in terms of percentage. If we draw a line from 80%, and this will give us 80 20 rule. This is known as Pareto principle. The Pareto principle stated that 80% of the consequences come from 20% of the causes. This can apply anywhere. For example, if you are a business person, 80% of the profit is come from 20% of the customers. This means that you have lots of customer, but there are only a small portion of customer that are willing to spend big money on your business. So with Pareto chart, you can actually pinpoint the specific group. So it can help you to make a good decision. Another one, at school, you have lots of friends. However, you spend 80% of your time with just a few of your close friends. And these friends make up of 20% of your friends. I think you like this example. In a group work, 20% of the group member do 80% of the work. Let's focus back on this Pareto chart here. So we know that behind the purple line, okay, is represent 20% of the group. Okay, in this case here, Adam, Bella, and Kate represent 20% of the group and they make 80% contribution to the group project. So that's what that meant. And I will teach you how to draw this Pareto chart. So let's get into it. First one. So before we draw a Pareto chart, we need to complete the table first. Now, please note the frequency table is already in order. So when we draw a Pareto chart, we need to organize frequency table in order from the highest score to the lowest, okay? Highest frequency to the lowest frequency, if you like. So now we just work out the cumulative frequency table. So to work out cumulative frequency table, so first step is we have 20, we just write this down first, this is 20. And then the next one is we go 20 plus 18 to give me 38. So we just write this down, 38. And the next one is 38 plus 15. So 38 plus 15 is 53. Then 53 plus 7 is 60. 60 plus 5 is 65. And then we add 3 to get the next one. So plus 3 equals 68. And then 68 plus 2 give me 70. There you go. So now we need to work out cumulative percentage. So to work this out, so for this one here, so we go 20, this 20 here, we divide by 70. And then we times 100, okay? So divide by 70 times 100%. There you go. So I just go 20 over 70. And then I times 100, okay? Because I want percentage. So 29%, which is right in whole number, okay? So 29%. Now to work our next one, so this one here, we have 38, and then we over 70, this 70 here. And then we times 100%, of course. So I just go 38 over 70 and times 100. So that will give me 54%. And this one here, we have 53 divided by 70. And we times by 100%. So I just go 53 over 70. 
and a times a hundred. And there you go. So seventy six percent. Now you know how I work out the cumulative percentage. So I just quickly write it down to save time. Okay. Now we need to draw a Pareto chart. On the left is frequency. Okay. And on the right hand side is cumulative percentage. So the first thing is we draw histogram first. So for Adam, the frequency is 20. And for Bella, it's 18. So it's here. For Kate, the frequency is 15. So this is 14, so 15 is halfway. There you go. And then 14 is 7. So this is 8 here, so halfway of the grid. So this is 7. And Eva is 5. And Freya is 3. And Harry is 2, okay? Now we need to draw cumulative frequency. For Adam, it's 29%. So 29%. So this is 30%. So 29% is just underneath. Roughly, okay? And then for Bella, it's 54%. So this is 50%. And then 55 halfway. So for Bella, it's just almost halfway, okay? Just remember that because 54%. Now Kate is 76%, so this is 70 here, 76 is halfway, but just a little bit on top, okay, roughly. Now for Dean is 85%, so 85 is halfway between the box, two grid, okay, so 85 here, roughly. And then for Eva is 93%, so this is 90 here. And then um, almost halfway, so we just down a little bit. There you go. This is roughly, okay, 93%. And then 97% for Freya. So 97, so almost 100. So 97 is roughly, yeah. And for Harry is 100%. There you go. So now you can just your ruler and connect these points together. And then you can join this to the um, axis if you like. There you go. This is Pareto chart. So part C. By applying the Pareto principle, which students contributed the most significant work? So this means that we need to work out 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle. Okay. So let me choose your ruler. So start from 80%. So I just use this color, any color, and just draw this from 80. Now we just draw a vertical line down. So this is here. So this is line important. Anyone behind this green line here is represent 20% of the group and contributed 80% of the work. Okay. So let me write this down. So, so therefore, Adams. Bella and Kate contributed the most significant work. So there are the people that represent 20% of the group and did 80% of the work. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? 
So let me go through them with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So to work out the cumulative frequency, so we know that start from this frequency here. So we start from 50. And then the next one is we go 50 plus 48. So which is 98. And then we go 98 plus 13. So that give me 111. So 111. And then 111 plus 9. So that will give me 120. And then we add 5. So that give me 125. Now we can work on the cumulative percentage. So this one here. So we just go 50 divided by this number here, which is 125 times 100%. Okay. So that will give me 40%. And to work out this one. So we go 98 divided by 125 and we times 100%. So that will give me 78%. And this one here, so we go 111 divided by 125 times 100%. That will give me 89%. So this will give me 96%. So last one is 125 divided by 125 and you times 100. So give me 100%. There you go. Now we need to draw a Pareto chart for this. So first step is we need to draw a frequency histogram first. And for chocolate is 50 is the frequency. And 48 is for the strawberry. And mango is 13. And vanilla is 9. So 9 is just down here. And mint is 5. So 5 is here. So it got by 5. So this is 5. So this is frequency histogram. Now we need to draw cumulative percentage. So for chocolate is 40%. So 40% is here. Okay. And then strawberry is 78%. So 80 is here. So 78. So just down a little bit. Okay. So roughly here. And then mango is 89. So 89, so 90, and just down a little bit. Okay, so this is it, roughly. And then for vanilla, is 96%. So almost 100. So 95 here, just a little above 95. Okay, roughly again. And then for mint, is 100%. So 100% is here. There you go. So now we just need ruler to connect them together. And you can just connect to this. There you go. So this is Pareto chart. Now by applying the Pareto principle, we need to work out which ice cream flavor account for the most sell. Okay. So we need to work out 80-20 rule. Okay. So let me just get the ruler out and we draw from 80%. Okay. So we draw from here. So now any flavor that behind the purple line, so this one here is contributed 80% of the cell. Okay, so 20% of the flavor that is chocolate and strawberry responsible for 80% cells. Okay, so let me just write this down. So therefore, chocolate and Strawberry account for the most sales. This means that 80% of the sales come from chocolate and strawberry. And these two flavor make up 20% of the ice cream selection. So this is what that meant. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.